Quest geht ganz äh, chillig los. Ist wieder mehr eine Quest, wo wir denkst, ganz chillig halt ähm, Oh, hin und her. Hin und Person reden. Und doch ganz viele Texte haben, wie man merkt. Man KW, äh, KW hat extrem viele große Textboxen. Also auch nicht, wie mal so schlimm ist. Das ist sehr interessant. Geht da in Detail und das sieht man nicht so oft. Normalerweise hat man so höchstens drei Zeilen und alles. Aber hier sind wir halt sind wir so bei vier, fünf und alles. Und so. Oh Gott, es laggt. Ah! <lacht> ich warum irgendwie ist die Wüste anfällig für Lags. Weshalb ich froh bin, dass wir nicht mehr so oft der Wüste hier sind. Most materials going from Caravan Rebot to Aru Village would pass through here. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of monsters out here today. If you find it hard to keep up, just let us know. Okay. Oh, don't worry about me. This is nothing. I'll be careful though, and you should do the same. Yes, yes. Okay, das heißt, wir müssen den Sofa Gegner beseitigen, wahrscheinlich mit KWF unserer Seite. Sofern das Spiel nicht laggen würde. So. Ähm. Hopp. Wir sind äh, besiegen mit Hilfe des Auftraggebers die Monster. Kein Problem. So, ich entschuldige mich schon im Voraus. Ernstens, dafür war es eigentlich nicht gebannt, war. Allerdings äh, äh, für die Lags, die hier wahrscheinlich jetzt im Gebiet werden sein. Das ist natürlich sehr schade. Oh, ja. Bist du verletzt oder ist einfach die körperliche Verfassung? Ich habe mein ganzes Leben mit diesen Kinden von Monstern in der Desert gekämpft. They won't get the best of me. Hoffentlich. But it's one thing to fight against monsters, and another to fight against an old injury. Uh, it's something I picked up when I was young. There were many fights between mercenary brigades back then, and one day someone stabbed me in the back. Oh. I don't think much of it back then, but with age, it's caught up to me. Few mercenaries get to enjoy their later years. Failing health tends to take the joy out of reputation and wealth. And many mercenaries never even made much of the latter to begin with. Yeah. Is there someone you know who can help to look after you? Unfortunately, no. My wife passed away at an early age. And I don't have any children. Kein Sometimes I'd close my eyes and realize most also of my story has already been written. I have many regrets about my past, but at the same time, I also know that there were never many options for me in the first place. Hmm. I joined the Eremites when I was young and won many battles with them. My survival was more a matter of luck than actual ability, hmm. if at all possible. I want future children of the desert to have some more options in life. I don't want them to turn out like me. My apologies. The older we get, the more we tend to ramble. Seems like we've already cleared out most of the monsters. Let's hurry over to Aru Village. Okay, let's go. Buddy geht in die Fan, während er spricht. KW scheint gedankenvoll und die Silhouette des älteren Monsters betrachten. <lacht> Was geht dir durch den Kopf? I think it's really admirable of him to spend his whole life savings on people he's never met. Stimmt, Maybe ja. he's doing this out of natural kindness. Kindness that hasn't been eroded away by the struggles of his life. Klingt doch nach dir, KW. Perhaps. To clarify, though, I don't think I'm quite the same. Nein, das verstehe ich nicht. Some people call me an idealist. I do have some sentiments of that general persuasion, such as wanting everyone to be able to lead a happy life. <lacht> But ja. my situation is more complex than that. In the beginning, what drove me to harbor those thoughts was less idealism. And more a desire to make up for a sense of guilt. Welch When I was Fühler. young, I impulsively encouraged my father to take part in the first Inter Darshan Championship yes. hosted by the Academia. Okay, on. He set off confidently hoping to win something for me, but failed to clinch the title. What's more, he fell into depression after the competition and requested to join an investigative research project in the desert. Was I also. never saw him again. Word has it that he got caught in quicksand. Even if other factors may have contributed to his death, the fundamental cause still circles back to me. Mm. I started doing many things in life because I wanted to make amends. Even in cases where I couldn't do something for a specific person, I still did whatever I could. I think I just wanted to make myself feel a little better. And yet? At this point... Even I don't know. 
Hmm. I've tried self-reflection, but it didn't help. I can't seem to walk away from many things that I see or hear about, even if they don't directly concern me. And I can't quite pinpoint the source of it. Maybe it's just like what those Vahumana scholars often say. It's hard for people to truly understand themselves. I could be doing things out of endless guilt, or I could be doing them out of a strong sense of empathy. It could even just be a matter of conceit. The potential motivations could number in the dozens, but the actions they result in are the same. Okay. Anyway, I suppose I don't really mind being called an idealist. They also used that term to describe my father. It seemed to carry fewer connotations back when he was around. Mm -hmm. I've known Al Haytham for many years now, and discussed my ideology with him for nearly as long. Uh, maybe argued is a better word for it. Yeah, okay, for sure. He told me a long time ago that no matter how strong of a swimmer you may be, you'll still get dragged under by the others who are drowning once you run out of stamina. He believes this is the fate that awaits all idealists. I still believe I should live by my ideals, and I've given him countless reasons why I think it's a good idea to do so. Perhaps my ideals are flawed, but are there really any perfect things in this world? Unfortunately, he remains unconvinced. His personality is the exact opposite of my own. If someone happens to drown next to him, he'll most likely stand on the shore and mumble something along the lines of respecting other people's fates. But as you can see, I'm not the only idealist in the world. Just as there are different seasons, there are also different people. There are many others who will continue to care about the fates of those who are not directly related to them. And yeah. when I finally run out of stamina, someone will also reach out and bring me back to shore. Ich hoffe, wenn, dann kommen wir. Someone will help me, right? Yes, I've already been helped like that before. Soll ich einen Rettungsring bereithalten? <lacht> oh, please. It's not like we're actually talking about swimming. Also, just so you know, I actually took a swimming elective back in the day. Don't underestimate my skills. Okay. <lacht> Either way, I'm feeling much better than when you first found me at the tavern. I can feel inspiration already welling up inside of me. Maybe this will be just the opportunity I needed to create a whole new style. All right, let's head to Aru Village. Let's go. Following me. Oh. Ich Idealistischen äh, Sachen eben, also beziehungsweise yeah, Ideen und so, ist auch extrem cool. Partners, time to shine. Merak. Merak. Ah, Merak. Oh, what's this? My toolbox. I built it using an ancient mechanical core. It's not too smart, but it's super useful and can help me with a variety of tasks. Also, künstliche Intelligenz. Merak and find a suitable location for the building. Once that is done, I'll get to work on a few designs. Okay. Traveler. Oh, Staria? Ah, you know each other? Yep. Hello. I suppose you must be Kave from Kasharwar. I have heard of you before. My name is Sitaria, and I'm currently the person in charge of promoting educational assistance programs here in the desert. Okay, that's possible. Educational assistance programs. Hmm. Then you must be familiar with the local conditions here. I can't say I'm too familiar just yet. But if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Okay. I've been commissioned by Mr. Badawi to build a library in the desert. We've settled on the general design direction, but we are trying to finalize some details based on the conditions around the intended location. A library? Do you intend to open it to the public for free? That's right. I want to make sure the children will have books to read. That's fantastic! I'm sure the children will be thrilled. Right now, we don't have access to many paper books or a quiet place to read. Truth be told, this very thing has been keeping me up at night. Let me get straight to my questions then. Can you estimate the number of children around here who'd be interested in reading? Besides the usual noise of village pedestrians, are there any other sources of noise in the village? <laughs> oh, and have any landslides occurred here recently? 
And also, where are the spots around the village that have been most affected by wind and erosion? Okay, extrem viele Faktoren. Ceteria überlegt, während sie auf K KWs Fragen beantwortet. Okay, da überlegt jemand. All right, that should be everything. Vadui, let's go over the budget again. We'll keep the building structure the same, but make the place a little bigger, so it'll be able to hold more people and get better natural light. The parts of the project that cost the most will be the insulation and ventilation materials. I'm sure you understand. No one likes to read in a place that's hot and stuffy. Yeah. I want to make significant changes to the arrangement of the bookshelves, tables, and chairs. I'll go over the specifics of that shortly. I have two plans in mind. Both are pretty minimalist in style, but will provide a very different ambiance from the world outside. Okay. Our final cost should be around 70% of the last figure I quoted. The whole thing should take around half a year to complete. Das kriege ich schon viel besser wie vorhin. Produce a sketch for all of you to see. If everyone's okay with it, then we'll proceed with that as the formal plan. Hast du so schnell einen neuen Wurf gezeichnet? Was jetzt KW selbst oder äh, Merak? The inspiration just came to me naturally. All I did was put thoughts to paper. Oh, okay. I must give you credit though. If it weren't for your advice and suggestions, I probably wouldn't have landed on this new style so quickly. Hm. According to the traditions of my profession, I should probably name this style after you. Let's call it the Traveler style. Traveler style. In the meantime, <laughs> let's look forward to the day when this building is completed and can finally open its doors. Oh, das war schon. Okay, ich habe gedacht, da kommt noch etwas kleines sein für der von Cetaria oder äh, bei die war äh, aber nee, okay. Blaupause der Zukunft. Verglichen damit anderen Erwartungen für die Zukunft zu schenken, ist das Leiden der Gegenwart nicht der Rede wert. Okay. Interessant. Das habe ich jetzt wirklich nicht erwartet, dass das so schnell geht, aber okay, KWs Auftrag ist doch nicht so lang wie erwartet und vielleicht bin ich auch schon länger hier dran, als ich denke. Ähm, okay, damit hätten wir das erste Ending. Äh, ich würde sagen, wir gehen dann rüber zum zweiten Ending und schauen mal, was da uns überhaupt erwartet. Äh, überhaupt, ich nehme mal hier noch die Belohnung ein. So, und da, stimmt, wir haben auch nur fünf Endings, das heißt, es geht schon ein bisschen schneller als wir andere, wo sechs Endings haben. Also normalerweise hängt davon ab. Aber ja, dann danke fürs zu äh, nee, nicht danke fürs Zuschauen, was lag aber hier. Ähm, nee, bis zum nächsten. Ui. So, da sind wir. Also, nächste Abschaltung. Hm, vielleicht können wir andere Händler um eine Spende bitten. Sponsor the project? Yup. You mean convince wealthy merchants to join our cause and pull their money together to build the library? Yup. That does make sense. A library is a big project, and it's going to be hard to fund it with just a single person's mora. Also man liest What do you Elon Musk, Bill. If we can find others to sponsor the project, we could potentially increase the size of the building two or threefold. Oh ja, das können wir. It's all fine with me. But where do you think we'll be able to find these sponsors? Ist das jetzt die ist das die eine Frage? So ist. Right. If ja. I really think about it, I'm not too familiar with many big name merchants. Sollen wir Dori fragen? Her? Hard pass. With her shrewd and greedy personality, she would never put Mora into something like this. Da ist auch wahr. Vielleicht könnten sie für uns Kontakt zu einigen Händlern aufnehmen. Vielleicht könnte sie, hm, Now there's an idea. She probably won't say no if all she'll need to do is to make some introductions instead of spending Mora. Let's go and pay her a visit. Nur wo, wo ist Dori? Also normalerweise befindet sie sich irgendwo hier in Port Omos, aber... Wie gesagt, normaler Wabler. Okay, beim Palast äh, befindet sie sich. Okay. Wenn ich noch mich richtig erinnere, ist sogar für die Konstruktion, beziehungsweise für den Bauplan von diesem Palast, glaube ich, sogar KW selbst verantwortlich. Oder teils davon, glaube ich. Ich glaube, das war mal ein Detail, wo er irgendwann gedroppt hat, aber ich weiß nicht mehr wann. Könnte aber auch falsch liegen, also vertraut dann nicht meinem ganzen Wort. Ich bin da gerade eher meinem Gefühl nachgegangen, weil ich irgendwie so etwas in Erinnerung habe. Ich glaube, das hat man während dem, äh, äh, während der Quest mit der Häfen rausgefunden. Ich glaube, wie gesagt, nicht sicher. Na, hallo. When I saw Kave, I almost thought it must be that time of month again. Sadly for me, I must wait a few more days before I can collect my shiny Mora. Mother's. Hey, can't you think of something else for a change? You are literally living in an objet d'art, and yet your mind is still fixated on nothing but Mora? What is the point of wealth, anyway? Is your happiness entirely dependent on your hoard of cold, emotionless Mora? That's exactly right! Mora is extremely valuable, you see. If 
you don't keep your mind on it, your mora may just find its way to somebody else's pockets. Oh boy, Dory. <laughs> me, this place is still way too empty. Just give me some time and I'll fill it to the brim with lots and lots of mora. <sighs> You're hopeless. Mm, komm mit zur Sache. Oh, so you have an actual reason to visit me? All right, let's hear it. Wir möchten dich darum bitten, uns ein paar Händler vorzustellen. Merchants? Why? Is there some kind of business opportunity? Jo. Du erzählst Dori von dem Bauprojekt der Bibliothek. Oh, I see. So you're just looking for someone to help you fit the bill. Yep. Oh, I knew you wouldn't be interested in something like this. Still, you wouldn't refuse just making some introductions for us, would you? Sure, I can connect you with some folks. But with every service comes a fee, you know. Ja, das hab ich schon gedacht. Fee? You mean just for introductions? Of course. Making introductions means using my connections and putting my reputation on the line. Why wouldn't I charge a fee for something so important? And since we've known each other for so long, though, I'll give you a huge returning customer discount. <clears throat> How about 500,000 more? Oh, God damn it. 500,000? I guess that's okay. But why are you charging a fee before we've even secured any funding? That just doesn't seem right. Besides, by helping us out, you'd be doing a great service to the public. Can't you take your mind off your mora even for just one second and focus on something far more important? <laughs> Very well. Since you're so passionate about this project, I'll help you out and waive the introduction fees. <laughs> Three of my business partners came by earlier today to discuss some things with me, and they still haven't left yet. I'll arrange a meeting for you, and just so we're clear, it'll be up to you to present your project and discuss any deals. Okay, that's kind of Th Thank you so much. If you can wait here, I'll bring them over to you. Okay. Das hat sich mal besser gelöst, wie gedacht. Okay, das heißt mit drei Personen, mit Tipu, Hubab und Quasimi, werden wir das hier jetzt beachten. Ob jemand interessiert ist? Ich hoffe. Dori gave us a brief introduction about the two of you. You are Kave, the renowned architect, and you are the traveler. Practically all of Tavat has heard of you by now. To be frank, I don't feel like there's an obvious business opportunity here. But since Dory took the time to introduce you, we can spend some time to have a conversation. Okay. All right, Oops. here's the situation. I've been commissioned to build a library in the desert, with the intended goal of allowing the desert dwellers to have more access to reading materials. Mm -hmm. So it's a public welfare project. Exact. Correct. Hmm, then the commission fees will likely be very low. You should be careful. I'm not too concerned about how much I'll get for the commission fees, actually. I'm fine with doing it for free. I just want to get this project rolling as soon as possible. We're just a little short on funding. Yeah, but... So what? You can't possibly expect that we just cover the shortfall for you. Besides, what does a library in the desert have to do with us? If you want to build it, build it yourself with your own mora. Seems simple enough to me. Oh boy. Hey, there's no need to be so harsh. They are Dory's associates after all. Here, can you tell us a bit more about what we can gain from sponsoring this project? Kaves Auftrag tritt euch in der Wüste bewerben. Und wir kriegen noch euch benannt werden. Was ist hier besser? Ich würde sagen, Kaves Auftraggeber könnt ihr euch in der Wüste bewerben. So we'd mostly be doing it for reputation and exposure? There is some value to that. It could make doing business in the desert a bit easier. Well, just speaking for myself, I've got nothing in the desert. I also have a concern. Uh, it feels like there's not much to profit from in the short term. But in the long term, the reputation gain also doesn't sound like it'd offset the cost of the sponsorship. Then how about this? What if, instead of building a single library, we commit to an entire complex of buildings dedicated to culture and education? Oh boy, that's king. Wouldn't that just cost more? Ah, we had best yes. to okay. But in that case, ah, <laughs> Mr. Cave, please tell us what. Ich glaube, da hat jemand verstanden, was wir vorhaben. I'll just give an example. 
If we were to build a library and a school near Aru village, then the desert dwellers would gradually begin to migrate towards the area. A whole suite of buildings will be able to host more traffic and thus drive the economic development of the entire area. In turn, that would lead to direct business opportunities. I've been to the desert several times. Although there are still many lingering tensions between the two regions, the amount of interaction has been steadily increasing, and in the long term, the desert will only become more and more important to Sumeru. Mm hmm. Hmm. You do have a point. Education in the desert is indeed an industry that has not been tapped into. If we can be the first to place stakes in the area. <laughs> and you just believe anything he tells you? Even the greenest amateurs know that urban planning will affect population flow. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone on the street to confirm it to you. You. Thanks, you must not for the frag stelz. Hey, why are you starting to sound like I'll hate them? <laughs> Wait, something just occurred to me. If we're going to build a library in the desert, Aru Village would obviously be the best place for it. Yeah, hat schon eine gute Population. We're not the only ones with our eyes on the village. I heard a rumor a while back saying a lot of land and buildings in Aru Village have already been secretly purchased so. by a big name merchant. Okay. What? What? In other words, if we try to join the fray now, there won't be much left for us. If we want to build a suite of buildings focused on education and culture, Aru Village is the prime location. If we want to build it anywhere else, we'll have to deal with a far larger list of problems. It's not impossible, I suppose. Ah, was könnte sein ein Problem mit sich bringen? There's no hurry. We can wait for Aru Village to develop more first and get into the market for expansion to other areas. Uh, but if you were to do that, is there nothing else to discuss? Great timing! I pretty much heard all I want to hear. If there are no other urgent matters, I'll be on my way. Yeah, kein I'll Problem. Verpiss well. dich ruhig. If you have any new ideas, you please okay. feel free to reach out. It on seems like the others are not interested in funding this, so no point in me doing this on my own. Let's revisit this another time. Das hat leider hey, absolut nicht von sich gegeben. Guys, wait! Well, what can I say? I guess it went somewhat as expected. They are Dory's friends, after all. As soon as they heard that there's not much more in this for them, they lost all interest. No, it's just a geschäft. Yeah, it's just another day doing business with people. But I can never get used to that. Those people never think of anyone other than themselves. Looks like we'll have to figure out some other way to get the funding. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Was könnten wir denn noch machen? How did the meeting go? Wanna talk about it? Nein, nicht wirklich. <lacht> die zwei waren okay, aber der andere, der Tipu, der, der, das war ein richtiger Arsch. Nope. Please don't tell me that you're here to mock us. What kind of person do you take me for? Would the kind and generous Lord Sakuma Bay really do such a thing? I will say though, I more or less expected this outcome even before I introduced them to you. You can try to talk up the project all you want, but the facts will remain the same. This project is high investment with slow returns. No sane person would put their money into this. Also, no one main on the main on from the project, right? Yeah, more. Also, if you already knew no one would want to partner with us, why did you still try to charge me five hundred thousand mora? You scammer! <clears throat> you might want to remember who your creditor is before you start talking like that, Kabe. Oh, Jesus. I'll pay back every last coin that I still owe you, but that's a completely different matter. All right, since you're so devastated about this, I'll set you up for dinner with another big name merchant. Okay. In fact, I'll be inviting the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, so I'll be counting on your performance. Oh, boy. What? Really? I, uh, I would like to sincerely apologize for my attitude just now. So, where would we be meeting this merchant? Follow me. Oh, I, I suppose both of you can come. Okay. Die größte Händlerin anscheinend. Oder wir sind das beste Händler, I guess. Okay, wer soll das sein? Und stehen wir nicht... Ah, okay, ich, ich habe kurz gedacht, Folge Dori. Oh nein, das wird doch nicht so lang, langsam sein. Okay, da nehme ich mal an. 
zwei Plätze für uns und eine für die Händlerin. Warum habe ich irgendwie das Gefühl, dass die Händlerin die größte und erfolgreiche Dori selbst wird sein? Das wäre so das Ding, was ich erwarte jetzt, um ehrlich zu sein. Ah, das sehen wir jetzt. Ganz gechillt. Und? Ist es Dori selbst, oder? Oder ist es jemand anders? Jemand komplett Neues? You said you're going to introduce us to the most famous merchant in Sumeru. Well, where are they? Sie steht direkt vor dir. You still don't get it, huh? The most famous merchant in Sumeru? Is Herr Sangama Bay? Huh? So you met yourself all along? Then why did you bring us here? Für zu essen. Well, I've given it some thought, and that complex of education and culture buildings that you mentioned does hold some promise. Okay. It'll be a pretty big war, I think, and I'll have to fund it all on my own. But that's not really a problem for me. Okay. Seriously? Where's this generosity coming from so suddenly? Are you trying to scam me again? The reasons are not important. What's important is that I'm willing to help you. Okay. However, you know just as well as me that once this project actually breaks ground, it'll start sucking Mora from my pockets like crazy. So, to cut costs... Yeah. I get it, I get it. I won't charge any commission fees, and I'll take responsibility for the entire project. Okay. Splendid! Then let's sign the contract right away. Dori bereitet zwei Vorträge vor. Nachdem er sie überflogen hat und zwei Schreibe in... This way, the children of the desert will have some books to read. Their lives should improve a bit after this. Scheint sich darüber zu freuen. Of course. There are a few things better than using my knowledge to help other people change their fates. I must thank you as well, Dory. I used to say you only cared about Mora, which might have been some prejudice on my part. Sorry for that. I will also try to pay back my debts as soon as possible. Now, let's have a quick discussion. Where would you want the library to be built? That will be the most important building. True. <laughs> There's no rush. I'll provide you with a copy of the deed when we get back. You can just use the address on the document to find the lot. Okay. Huh? The deed? Ich nehme mal an, sie besitzt die äh, Grundstücke. Da ist doch nicht. So hold on a sec. The person voilà. who has been buying up everything around Aru village was you all along? <laughs> oh my. Did I not tell you about that? Yep, yours truly has been buying up all the land. I must thank you for bringing your ideas to me. Before our conversation, I had no idea what to build on all those lots. Oh boy. So, from my perspective, this has been a great turn of events. I didn't put much in and easily got a lot in return. But what about my commission fees? Huh? Didn't you waive those yourself? I was just gonna say that to Kakas, we mustn't procrastinate and should start construction as soon as possible. But before I could finish my sentence, you volunteered to waive your commission fees and even promised to take responsibility for the whole project from start to finish. I am so touched, really. It's obvious that you used every trick in the book to deceive me. You deliberately paused for a long time while talking about the project and kept glancing at me with that menacing look in your eyes. Huh? You really think so? Well... The contract's already been signed, so there's no point in dwelling on the details. You know what? I'll pay for tonight's dinner. <sighs> Fine. I'll drop the argument on the commission fees. But since you said you're paying for dinner, I'm going to order the best dishes and booze this place has to offer, and lots of it. Tonight, we're feasting until I've recouped my full commission fees. <laughs> Kleine Rache da. <lacht> so. Ein abgemachter Vertrag. Später. Muss ich möglichst viel essen, um meine Ausgaben wieder hereinzuholen. <lacht> Warum nicht? Und dann fliegt's wieder, fliegt es wieder unten am Körper, äh, unten im Körper raus. Yay. Okay. Ich würde sagen, damit hätten wir einen Teil des Auftrags abgeschlossen. Ich würde auch sagen, so wie ich es wahrscheinlich beim Lelehänger doch gemacht haben, wenn wir hier die Folge beenden dann. Und äh, dann rüber. Zu der nächsten Folge dann, äh, also in der nächsten Folge, voilà, das ging schon besser, werden wir uns dann mit äh, dem dritten Ending ein äh, bisschen anlegen und wahrscheinlich schon den Weg einschränken für das vierte Ending und wahrscheinlich daraufhin in der nächsten Folge uns mit dem äh, Finale bzw. dem letzten aus äh, äh, 
letzten Auseinandersetzen. Nee. Aber das ist dann äh, ein Problem, beziehungsweise eine Angelegenheit die für die Zukunft, beziehungsweise für die nächste Folge. Hier werden wir dann die Folge. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss.